the mood, I want to send a big shout out to the sister Alexis Morris. This is the center hard earned money and bless the channel through cash app. Appreciate you, sister Alexis Morris. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. Definitely ain't gonna let you down, sis. Just stay locked in. I got us. Now that we got that out the way, let's get it. Hey, man, so I'm all stabbed up, staples in me, laid back on my bunk, mad at the world. When I hear the commotion, like some scuffling, I get up off my bunk. In no condition to fight whatsoever, I get up off my bunk. So as soon as I get up, the first thing I see is two bloods jumping on a brother by the phones. I look around, all the good brothers that's down there is hobbles. And they just stand there looking while this man fighting two bloods. So me being injured, stabbed all the fuck up. To be honest, I ain't even wanna fuck with the good brothers no more. But it was something in me that made me grab that broomstick and go ape shit on them niggas. I was swinging that motherfucker like a Louisville slugger. Got them niggas up off, bro. It's blood standing around with knives in their hands, scared to death of a stick. <laughs> That's all I had was a broomstick. But I was whipping heads with that motherfucker. And what happened was I was going off. And one of the COs came from behind and tried to grab me from behind. I'm thinking it's an eye. I'm thinking it's one of them blood niggas or something. I spin around with the stick. Wow! Catch him right across and shit, knock his glasses off and all that shit. When I seen that I did that, I'm like, damn! I just knew they about to raise my security level. So I dropped the broomstick and walked back on the tail. Boot camp is open door, no cells. But anyway, all the younger good brothers looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm nuts or some shit. But the whole time, them niggas froze. They ain't even do shit. I was the only one out that bitch going ham for real. See, if I was a fucked up comrade, I could have put all them niggas on that blacklist and got them hit anywhere they went at in the Maryland prison system. But I just took it as they was young and I had to show them the way. So I let them slide on that. But anyway, I hurry up, go over to my bunk area, lay in the bunk, put the covers on me, act like I'm asleep. Do a little do-rag on my head and all that shit. I change my look up. <laughs> yeah, right. Police come straight on the tail, right over to my bunk area. Back on the bunk, I got my head under the cover. They're like, hey, Mr. Ash. I'm like, what's up? Hey, man, get up out that bed, man. I be seeing you, man. <laughs> I hop up off the bunk like, fuck it. All my staples and shit done bust open. Because I done had to assist these niggas while I'm injured. They take my dumb ass, raise my security level, and send me out back with the lifers. Put me on lock up behind that door. This was back when B building was locked up out back in that cut annex. I was in B building. But when they called me for the ticket to go up for my hearn for hitting that police with that stick, they found me not guilty because the officer said he ain't want to press charges or nothing like that. He knew that I didn't know he was an officer. It was in the middle of a fight, a gang war. But they still end up keeping me behind the door six fucking months. Go oh, back on lock up. Talking about for my safety, because of all the stab wounds, I had to get restapled. They tell me like, yeah, we ain't letting you off till all that shit heal up. And I knew if I was in Roxbury or I was in the new jail, ECI, coming into something like that, WCI, they wouldn't have carried it like that. They'd have let me back in general population. But because I was down there in maximum security with the lifers and the jail was a little more dangerous, they kept my ass behind that door. I was sick because my visits had to be behind glass. Couldn't even hug my girl. Cause I was on lockup status. All right, so boom. All right, so boom. After six months, and my wounds and shit healed up. Sergeant Pinky came around with a paper trying to get me signed the paper saying I can go back in general population. And if something happened to me, the administration won't be at fault. I signed that shit with the quickness, thinking they getting ready to let me in population out back. Man, see, I was good out back. I knew everybody out back. All the brothers that was in population, they was coming over to the window sending me shit. And the big, big brothers that know me from up Roxbury back in the day was coming to the window telling me like, Shorty, don't worry about nothing. The nigga that did that to you, the nigga that made that call, he gonna get his. So when the big brother told me that, I just left it at that. But instead of letting me off in population in the cut annex out back, they sent my ass out ECI, way down Eastern Shore, man. I felt like they was trying to separate me from motherfuckers. I did not like that shit. Sent me three hours away. So when I get down there though, the nigga Dirty Yo, he is down there. ECI made up of two different compounds. You got the West Compound and the East Compound. I was on the West Compound in the gang unit. This nigga was on the East Compound. I don't know what building he was in, but he was in the East Compound. And brothers told me he was down there as soon as I got down there, so I was on point. Because once you put an order on a brother, you and that brother enemies, y'all ain't gonna never see eye to eye again. But I know he saw me as a threat. So he gets word that I'm on the West Compound. He trying to send word over there to get me hit again. But the big brothers that was on the West Compound with me, like, fuck no. And they told me 
dirty yo was on the East compound over there on PC, protective custody. Why? There was a transformer down there down on ECI named Sweet Pea. This nigga dirty supposed to have been fucking with the boy. They say he was down there walking around the yard with the transformer, buying them commissary and some more things. You're a <laughs> I lied to you not. Brother said they trying to get close to him and put all kind of getting shoes in his ass. They wanted him so bad, some females got sent to his girl house while he was in jail. And when she came to the front door, they stabbed her up. Uptown on the street. So towards the, la the latter part of his life, the ending of his life, he wasn't even a good brother no more. In fact, he was a target. He ended up getting released from prison before me. But when I came home, yeah, the brothers told me he overdosed. Fitting all sitting away from here. And as far as the nigga that he ordered to hit me, the nigga Wolf, right? He came home a little bit before me too. Got slaughtered on Pennsylvania Avenue in the car with his girl. Both of them, him and his girl, slumped. I don't know why. I ain't had shit to do with it, but slumped. So when I came home, niggas had already did the work for me. 